Ben 37 International Cheese Tour, a wine and cheese pairing experience. In this video, we're going to focus pairing French cheeses with wines. And we've got some beautiful French cheeses today. Uh, we're going to be focusing this video mainly on fresh and soft ripened uh, French cheeses. And this is going to be so delicious. The first cheese I want to point out here is this beautiful pyramid of really stark white fresh goat cheese. This is the uh, Le Bon V Goat Pyramid. This is a fresh chev that has a little bit more moisture added to it, so it's really creamy and spreadable. The taste is lovely, kind of acidic, kind of lemony and citrusy. Absolutely amazing. This next cheese is called Briat Savarin, and it is a triple creme cheese. And what triple creme means is they actually add more cream to the batch of milk before they make the cheese. So <laughs> you may have seen a double creme cheese, like fromage d'affinois, cheeses like that. This has yet even another uh, layer of cream added to it to make it really rich and buttery. And you're gonna see a name on here. This name, Will Stud, right there. Will Stud is a well-known cheese expert from Australia. Uh, he has spent his life traveling across the world and spending a lot of time, mostly in the Mediterranean, picking out cheeses uh, and cheeses that he finds really represents that particular style. So Will actually found this Briat Savarin and thinks it's a great representation and he has superb taste. So anytime you see that Will Stud on a cheese, that means it has been picked because it is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so this, uh, the Briat, it's a little bit uh, firmer in texture. You know, it's a smaller round, so it ages a little bit faster being smaller. But here in the back, you're gonna see this beautiful cheese. This is called Delice de Bourgon. And this is another triple creme cheese. But you'll see, you'll see this one right here, it's in a much larger format. So this is kind of like a cake of triple creme goodness. So this is just, luscious, rich, buttery cheese. And I tell you what, just like you can spread that on a cracker and make anybody's day better. Last, right over here, I've got another great cheese selected by Will Studd. This is called Pont Levesque. So Pont Levesque is another soft, ripened cow's milk cheese from France. Uh, and it is a little bit more pungent. This cheese is gonna have a little bit more smell to it. And again, you'll see that I've placed this board mild to wild. So as you go around right here, you're gonna end up on the strongest cheese. It's gonna give you a good bit of uh, odor. <laughs> it is pretty pervasive, but the taste is much more mild and delicate. That's something to remember about cheese as well. Uh, the bark is always stronger than the bite. The cheese is always gonna smell more than it tastes. Besides that, you'll see some other delicious pairings. Oh goodness, you, if you've seen a video with me, you've probably already heard me talk about fig jam. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Fig jam and, and bloomy cheeses are a pairing in heaven. They work absolutely perfectly. Butter and sweet, you put that on a little slice of baguette or on one of these amazing fire hook sea salt crackers right there. If you want a little bit more texture, that's one thing I really like about it. All these cheeses here are really creamy and soft, so you're gonna need a little bit more of a bite to go with it. Go with a cracker, and as you can see here too, I've got some nice baguettes. And the final accoutrement, you know, besides talking about the jam and the crackers, we've got sweet, we've got crunchy, we've got our texture, but if you're looking for something a little bit more savory to go with your pairings, this is a beautiful salami here called Salami du Stud. This is from the Spotted Trotter uh, in Atlanta, Georgia. Absolutely beautiful charcuterer. Uh, makes a lot of wonderful, wonderful meats. Uh, but this Salami du Stud, great going with this French pairing. And all these, look at these fruits. These cheeses scream for fresh fruits. Fresh fruits, berries, and of course grapes. Speaking of grapes, I think it's time to talk about the wine. 
I've got two delicious styles of wine here today to talk about pairing with these beautiful soft ripened French cheeses. The first one I want to talk about right here, we've got a Chardonnay. Oh my goodness, I enjoy a lovely glass of Chardonnay. And you'll see this is a nice white wine. Uh, this one is going to pair pretty easily with these soft ripened cheeses. You know, here's a couple little, little facts about Chardonnay. You know, this is the most widely planted grape variety globally, right here. Uh, you know, it's the major grape actually that you're going to find in Champagne. So if you like Champagne or either other sparkling wines, the Chardonnay grape is one of the key grapes for that. Uh, and if you've heard of Chardonnays or even enjoy them or looking to get into them, you've probably heard the term uh, oaked or unoaked. But oaked Chardonnays, of course, are going to be, they're really rich and more full bodied. And they're going to have flavors tending to more like vanilla or, uh, uh, or butter even. And that's kind of what Chardonnays are known for, are butter. So when you're talking about pairing a like with like, butter with butter is butter. That may be too much butter. I hope not. <laughs> Probably not, but this is going to be a perfect pairing. Any of these cheeses are going to go delightful with a Chardonnay. The second wine I want to talk to you about is Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir is an absolute beautiful wine as well. And you'll see here that we're having a different variety with a red wine. And of course, Pinot Noir uh, is, is, is just a little bit more subtle than some other red wines. So Pinot Noir goes great with many styles of cheese. Me though, I would take this Pinot and try it immediately, immediately with a Pont Levesque. And I think that's gonna be your best pairing with that. Go ahead and try it with these other cheeses. More than likely it'll work for you. Again, every palate's different. But I say the Pinot with a Pont Levesque, and I would say the Chardonnay with the triple crims and the fresh goat cheese. I hope you learned a little something about great French cheeses today and how to pair them with some beautiful wines like Pinot Noir and Chardonnay.